In this video, we're gonna be doing an unboxing of a Daytona two-ton jack. We're gonna be testing it on different landscapes, such as grass, gravel, and cement. We'll also be using it to jack up three different vehicles, a Tesla, a truck, as well as the regular vehicle. So let's test it out, check out all the specs, and let's go. You are watching Watts Lock and Key. So now let's open it up. It uh, weighs about 40 pounds, and we're going to test the weight just to verify that the weight is accurate. When the jack is first purchased, you'll notice that there's this little piece here, and it's basically plastic. You're going to put your hand on the handle socket to release it, and then you just pull this up, and this will release the pistons here. You see, too, there is a little bit of grease that they put here and uh, that's the entrance for your handle socket in your yoke so you just place that in here making sure that this is completely opened as you know you've used jacks before I'm sure twist it to the right take it to the right there and it does jack up pretty well. Obviously, you're probably not going to be using it to maximum height unless you're lifting something very light. And one good thing about this jack is they do have these handles here. This allows you to pick it up if you put this in the back seat of your trunk or in the bed of your truck. Uh, it's easy to lift it. And we're going to see exactly what it's weighing. So this is just about 45, 43 and a half pounds or so, maybe closer to 45. And uh, so this is the weight here. And what you would probably do is you would hold it up sideways here and you could lift it with both arms so that you're able to, to host it up. Um, that's one way you can do it. Sometimes I'll even grab it just by one end as well. If you want to know how to do maintenance to a Daytona Jack, uh, we have another video which will list uh, somewhere here, uh, which will show you how to actually do maintenance on the Jack so that you could uh, have the Jack oil that it needs so that it doesn't cause you any issues. So we're going to double check the actual height. It says that it could lift up to about 16 and 3 fourths inches. So that's pretty accurate. And the length is 23 and a half inches with the end of the yoke here. And I wouldn't suggest that you use this complete height, but that is where it stands. And to release it, we'll just release our lever here. And uh, now we're going to test it out on a variety of landscapes. We see how it does move around fairly smooth on cement. One thing you will notice is that right here, it does get a little bit of uh, wear and tear on the wheels here. And also your wear will, you'll find here. Sometimes your vehicle may even be in grass. And one thing that will happen is that if your vehicle is in grass and you need to jack it up, is um, it will sink down within the, the grass here. Uh, but one feature that they have is this bar right here in the front, even though it sinks down a little bit, it does give a little bit of stability uh, to your jack, but you will find that there could be debris that, and this could, this debris that you find sometimes underneath that collects may cause issues to the jack. So you just have to make sure that you clean it after you uh, jack up any vehicle uh, in the grass. As regards to gravel, 
it does have a little issue moving around in gravel. So just like any other jack, obviously you can pick up the jack and um, that will uh, allow you to be able to use it if your vehicle is on gravel, but it should not be um, pulled while it's on gravel as well. It does impact the bottom of the jack as well. And already we see here that the wheels, they are scratched a little, just from just pulling around just a little bit on cement and as well as gravel. So now we're gonna test the jack on a Prius 2010 and see how well it holds up with the two ton jack. So let's see how many pumps it's gonna to take to jack it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's just about off the ground with ten here. So we see we got a little bit of leverage, so your spare will be a little smaller as well. So just about ten pumps and um, didn't require too much effort. You can get a Prius off the ground and the Prius weighs close to about maybe about 4,000 pounds or so. We'll put the exact weight here. We'll post that for you. But you do notice as well, we're holding up pretty fine. And mind you, we're not lifting the whole car, but just one side. Next up, we have a Toyota Tacoma, which weighs from 3,325 pounds to around 4,285 pounds. All right, so about 20 pumps here, but we're gonna stabilize this as well. The jack stand, see we're off the ground, so. So with jacking up the Toyota Tacoma from the years of 2010 and up, you should have no problem with lifting this vehicle and it should be around 4,000 to 5,000 pounds. The two ton check will serve you well in this model. So now we're gonna be lifting the Tesla Model 3. This is the 2021 version, but it does have a 2024 battery. So it is gonna be weighing a little bit over 4,250 pounds. We'll see how it jacks up. And so we're gonna see exactly how many pumps it takes to pump it up with the Daytona jack. So I have to make sure we add these guys here, which is our puck. Always make sure you use your knee pad. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it took about six or so pumps, uh, which was very easy, easily done. So we can see here, the vehicle is off the ground. You would be able to change your tire if needed. So I think this is a, a 10 out of 10, uh, jacking up the Tesla. And uh, this is basically the Daytona Jack two ton put to the test. And if you want a little bit more information about the Jack, feel free to leave your comments below. And uh, we're off to the races.